So I've been on YouTube since the age of 15 and I'm currently 25 years old. In the past 10 years of my time on YouTube, I've tried different kinds of video ideas like challenges, reactions, interviews, etc. And for the first time in my life, I have been able to post videos consistently once every two weeks for over a year. Although my frequency of uploading videos doesn't seem that impressive, this is such an achievement to me considering that I had never been able to do this consistently for this long in the past. But let me tell you, there's one video idea that I always wanted to try, but I never did, which is to create vlogs combined with storytelling. But before getting deeper into this topic, let me just go and freshen up because it's still 6 a.m. and as you can see, I'm just still quite sleepy. To this day, I don't even know how to trim my beard properly. Uh, what I normally do though is I try to make a triangle here. Not exactly a triangle, but a triangle like shape. But let me know if you know a better way to do it. There's one reason why I haven't been able to try making vlogs with storytelling. That's simply due to the lack of confidence within myself to make it happen. Yes, I never thought that I was good at it. So I'm just going into the city and uh, spend time with Anna. <laughs> Anna's out of her breath because what did you do, Anna? -san? I ran <laughs> to Nagoya Station to come meet you on time. I'm always late. <laughs> I thought not today. So I tend to think a lot about what I say. And when it comes to talking about something that I'm so passionate about, I tend to get lost in my thoughts and end up forgetting the points that I was trying to make in the first place. This doesn't seem to happen that much when I'm with someone else because I focus on listening to the other person but if it's just me and my camera, man, I don't know when to stop talking. So just like this, I was avoiding to pursue something that I wanted to do for a long time which I'm sure a lot of us experienced growing up. And I feel that the older we get, the harder it becomes for us to follow our intuitions and passions. Whatever the reasons, we tend to hesitate to do things that are uncertain or risky that might make us fail because the path is unknown or we don't go ahead with taking actions due to the lack of self-confidence. But if I think about my past, the skills and experiences that I acquired were through trying and failing. Take a look at how I speak English, for example. I couldn't speak it properly when I was 15, but after nine years of learning and practicing this, 
now I'm able to make a vlog in English, which you are able to comprehend what I'm talking about. What's up? The other day I was about to go to bed and reflecting on myself as usual. I remember that until quite recently I was telling myself over and over that creating a vlog combined with storytelling is something that I wanted to do but I never put much effort into creating it. In my negative self-talk began repeating within my head and that was when I told myself that that's it. Uh, I've had enough and I'm sick of repeating myself that I can't do what I want to pursue because of how I limit myself anymore. The only way to gain confidence in things that I do is through a lot of practice. And I may not get it right for the first few weeks, months, 10 years, or even 20 years. But I would rather want to fail than regretting that I should have started something. I've finally come to realize that the only thing that can change my current situation is through my own actions. If I want to be good at something, the best way to go about it is to keep doing it and always think about how I can make it better next time. And the quality improves over time. All right, shall we go and get some lunch? Yes. Vegetarian food? Yeah. Let's go. お願いします。えっと、照準午前。はい、2つ One thing that I'm not perfectly happy about is my job situation. I've always told myself that I want to work for myself and get out of a 9 to 5 job, but I highly doubt that I have been putting a lot of effort to get to where I want to be. I'm in heaven right now. Because of this, I want to try putting my absolute effort to try something that I wanted to do for a long time. You see, with this attempt to make vlogs combined with storytelling, I might totally fail or I might realize that this might not be the path that I should take in the long term. However, my desire to create this type of content is strong and I thought that I should give it a good try. And who cares if I fail or can't make my dream come true? I don't know how many vlogs that I will be able to make this year considering that I work full time so I only have weekends to do vlogs if I want to. But in 2022, I want to push myself harder than the past years and I think I'm finally ready to put more work in physically and emotionally. Yeah, cons <laughs> about being a minimalist is that uh, I scare other people off because they think, they instantly think that I'm not interested in fashion at all. Which is completely wrong. I love fashion. It's just that not many things speak to me, you know? Uh -huh. Encourage me to purchase it. Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay. There is a type of ring I'm looking for. Oh, yeah? I kind of like when the stone is, um, the gem is like black. Mm. But I haven't found one that I like.
I feel fulfilled when working. It must be funny to some of you who watch my videos here in this because I always talk about wanting to create a 9 to 5 job and becoming a full time creator. Ultimately what I want to find is something that doesn't feel like work but I still want to put so much effort in it and don't mind working for it all the time. I know that no matter what I'm going to pursue to do, uh, whether it's about working for a 9 to 5 job, becoming a full time creator or building my own business, there will always be challenges for whatever I'm going to choose in life. Then at least I want to struggle by doing something that I care about and that's what I want to find for my work. I just want to move forward and try creating the life that I can be proud of myself. And my vision will never come true without my constant action to make it possible. So this is why I tell myself, no more excuses. Just letting you know that there's no paper wasted in this video.